Hello. I wanted to talk today about the responsibility that orthodontists have to warn their patients about damage of any sort. I have previously talked about the risk of damaging the face, but today I want to mention the risk of damage to the roots of the teeth. To give you an example, when I was a young man, I used to play a lot of tennis, and I had an attractive young um, lady of about 25 years old. Um, one day after a match, she came up to me and said, John, my front teeth feel wobbly. I said, oh dear, you better pop down to my office. I'll have a look at it and we'll see what we can do. Well, when she got there, I took some x-rays and to my horror, found that the roots of her teeth had been shortened to about seven millimetres. Normally they're, what, 12, maybe 15 millimetres. Um, <clears throat> but as a result of this shortening, they were quite wobbly. And she lost three of her front teeth before she was 30. Now this is a complete disaster to a young lady. Um, and I must accept that it is quite rare. However, it is accepted that teeth are, the life of the teeth is shortened as a result of orthodontic treatment. And I think um, this is due to the force of the appliances. Now, natural movement to teeth usually involves a force of one or two grams, usually from the tongue or the lips. But if you're moving them with appliances which are fixed to the teeth, the forces are often much greater, maybe between 30 and 50 grams, and not infrequently more than 100 grams. Now the teeth are set in rigid bone and surrounded by a very thin layer of cells called the periodontal membrane. It's only about an eighth of a millimetre thick and when you try to move a tooth, obviously it pushes the tooth against the side of this rigid socket. And that's, this will prevent the flow of blood to the cells. And now that doesn't matter if, say, you're eating something hard or you push on your teeth for a short period. But with fixed orthodontic treatment, the force is often 30 to 50 grams and can be applied for days, hours, even weeks. And this can not only risk damage to the teeth, but the roots are sometimes substantially shortened, as we saw with um, my tennis partner. Um, in fact, this damage to the roots is so common that orthodontists consider it routine they mention it to patients, but they make no effort to avoid it and consider that it's an, a necessary consequence of straightening the teeth. Now, I don't accept that, and I think they should do more research. Uh, the real problem is that it's not easy to research. You would have to take young patients, 12, 15 years old, and then measure the same patients again when they're age 50, 60 or 70. And obviously that would be a very difficult research project. But at the same time, I don't think orthodontists are excused from the responsibility of telling the patients that they may uh, shorten the life of their teeth by five to ten years, possibly more, by having orthodontic treatment. But that's my message. Remember to ask your orthodontists, because I really think they need to be more responsible about what they tell the patients.